I'm Michael Isakowicz, professor at Thomas Jefferson uh, University and also uh, attending cardiologist at the Lankenau and Bryn Mawr hospitals. Uh, yesterday, I presented the Emanate trial as a late breaker at uh, ESC in Barcelona. The Emanate trial basically compared apixaban, a factor 10A inhibitor, to usual therapy, which was heparin and a VKA in patients with atrial fibrillation who were anticoagulation naive. Now, the definition of anticoagulation naive is important. Uh, in uh, the case of Emanate, it, were, it included patients who had received less than 48 hours of any form of anticoagulation prior to randomization. And in fact, 61% of the patients didn't receive any anticoagulation at all prior to randomization. Uh, the uh, most important results uh, were that in um, the intention to treat uh, population um, that, uh, uh, and this is obviously in the setting of uh, cardioversion, uh, there were no strokes or uh, systemic embolizations in patients randomized to apixaban, where, whereas there were six strokes, five ischemic, one hemorrhage, hemorrhagic, and no systemic embolization in the uh, usual care group, the heparin VKA group. While the numbers were small, the uh, population included 1,500 patients, the difference was uh, statistically significant. As far as major bleeding is concerned, there were three major bleeds in the patients randomized to apixaban and six to the heparin VKA group. There were uh, two elements of emanate that were particularly interesting. So that in patients randomized to apixaban, if the clinicians at the site wanted to accelerate the time to cardioversion, they had the option of using a loading dose of apixaban which was a single 10 milligram dose, uh, which was down titrated to five milligrams if uh, two of the following were present. Age over 80, weight less than 60, and a serum creatinine of greater than 1.5. Um, what we found in that group, which was upward of 300 patients, was that there were zero strokes, one major bleed, and one death. This is very interesting because in the patients in whom a loading dose was given based on the pharmacokinetics of apixaban, uh, we gave the instruction to the sites that they could anticoagulate the patients and then perform a cardioversion two hours after the administration of the drug. And uh, clearly that worked based on the uh, results that I've just uh, uh, presented to you. The second group of interest were the uh, patients that had image guidance. Again, we encouraged image guidance to facilitate early cardioversion. 840 patients received uh, image guidance cardioversion. And 61 of those patients had thrombi in the left atrial appendage. In that group of 61, all the patients completed the study, and there were no outcome events. And we encouraged the investigators, and they followed our instruction, of continuing the anticoagulation in the patients that had thrombi. So in the patients um, in the apixaban group, there were 30, 29 of those followed uh, the, uh, the on with uh, apixaban, and then a repeat TEE -E was performed at th approximately 37 days, and 52% of those patients saw resolution of the uh, thrombus, um, 
And those that showed resolution of the thrombus were actually cardioverted without any uh, complication. In the VKA group, there were um, 31 patients with thrombi and one extra patient that uh, was shifted from the uh, apixaban group to the VKA group, so they gave a total of 32. Also, uh, um, repeat imaging was performed, and in this case, 56% of the positive images resolved 37 days uh, later, and uh, these patients were also cardiover uh, cardioverted and uh, without complication. So, um, Apixabam uh, was an interesting study in summary. Uh, it clearly works in the setting of uh, cardioversion. Uh, using the loading dose is clearly of interest and uh, 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 needs further evaluation but could be clinically applied. And um, the role of imaging in the setting of cardioversion uh, has become a um, moving target, for want of a better word, but the data from Emanate is clearly very interesting and uh, evolving.